Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tal Flater Mouse. Today we're going to be shooting some bulletproof glass. If you really want to get technical, you can call it ballistic glass. This stuff is one and an eighth inch thick, and it's rated to stop a 44 Magnum. Guaranteed. But we're going to throw a whole bunch of different rounds at it and see what will actually go through this stuff. We have a new guest shooter named Greg who brought out his arsenal. Take it over, Greg. All right, 22, cal 22 long rifle out of a Ruger 2245. Pew. Here we're shooting a Spear Gold Dot. This is 124 grain out of a Smith & Wesson M&P Shield 9mm. Alright, from a Glock 22, this is Winchester Ranger XST, 180 grain, 40 caliber. Ooh. 230 grain, spear gold dot, hollow point. Shot from a Glock 30S, 45. Pew. All right, this is 155 grain, 10 millimeter hollow point. I believe it's a spear gold dot hollow point from Underwood Ammo. Rated for 1,500 feet per second. Pew! Okay, as expected, everything was stopped by this glass. Even though it had little uh, crazed cracks in it and everything, it still was able to stop all these different rounds effectively. Now, ironically, we didn't have any 44 Magnum, so let's throw some rifle rounds at it, see how it stops that. Is that is that 5.56 or 2.23? This is uh, actually labeled as 2.23. Okay. And this is going to be a 55 grain soft tip uh, spear gold dot. Fired from a SIG M400 pistol. With the arm brace. <laughs> yes. Careful not to put this on your shoulder. <laughs> yeah. Ready? Yep. Oh! I got spray back from that. Really? Yes. Ready? Now this actually surprised us because it, it stopped this bullet dead cold. So let's throw something bigger at it. All right, we're shooting 168 grain Winchester, just a hardball round, 308 out of a Smith & Wesson M&P 10. I'm pretty certain whether or not the glass is already cracked and compromised, this bullet would have gone through this glass regardless. So really, this didn't surprise us at all. Remember, the glass was rated to stop a 44 Magnum, and that's probably a very uh, conservative estimate by Underwriters Laboratories. It will definitely stop a 44 Magnum every single time, and maybe other calibers too. Is there a 556 five, is right. That's 556 five, or 223 or whatever it is. Yep. 10 millimeter. And this is where our 308 penetrated right through, showing the not only the ballistic glass but the Lexan safety layer. This is a bendable plastic as you can see right there. 
So the glass punched right on through. All the safety glass and, I'm sorry, the round punched right on through. Or well, it, maybe there is. Unless it just skipped him. This might be the entrance and exit. Yeah. That also could just be glass and shards though too. Yeah, because that's going to be flying out at high velocity. The 308 normally wants to just blow this thing up. Yeah. These are called the... I don't know what they're called. Okay. <laughs> magic mushrooms, uh, the gold, the brass magic. Right. I may call them brass magic just because it's magic. <laughs> We'll be shooting this uh, custom brass slug that Tim from Tactical G Code made for us uh, in a future video, but we w definitely wanted to try it on this uh, ballistic glass and see how it would fare. Got a bulge going on there. The second base. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> I want to thank Greg for bringing all his guns out, bringing out this glass for us to shoot, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.